Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial by CNPM Studios. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to make a silhouette iPod ad using Sony Vegas. Now, I know I said um, that our upload tutorial would probably be the last Sony Vegas tutorial we made, but we don't really know how to use Adobe, and we're I'm not going to completely switch yet. And I know how to use Sony Vegas really well, so I'm just going to use that a lot. I'm not switching completely yet. Okay, so a couple of things that you're going to need is a green screen to dance in front of, uh, a camera, of course, and someone to dance, and probably the most important thing is going to be, um, you, you're going to need an editing program that's going to have, like, know how to do, um, chroma keying. Uh, yeah, that would be like Final Cut, Adobe After Effects, or, um, Sony Vegas. And I have Sony Vegas, so, I'm just gonna use that. Alright, so I'm just gonna import this clip. It isn't really a clip of me dancing. Um, this is a clip that was in our other video, Patrick the Boy Who Can Fly. And we did a really good job chroma keying on that, so I just chose to use that clip. Alright, and yeah, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's pretty cool. It's about a boy who can fly. No idea where we came up with the idea. Alright, so I'm just going to split. Oh, wait, I didn't want to split there. I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm just going to delete all that because I don't want it. Uh, you can split using the S key. And here, I'm going to make the make that really big. As you can see, uh, I have some of the wall there. And I don't want that. So I'm just going to go to the event pan crop, which is right there. And just take the corner and move it in one. And as you can see on the previous screen, um, the wall isn't there anymore. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the event effects and select Sony Chroma Keyer. Okay, and I'm going to bring in the... I'm just going to put that right there. Okay, so, um, you don't want to take the little eyedropper thing and put it, like, and select the backdrop. Alright, and I'm going to turn on the show mask only, and your goal is going to be to make the backdrop completely black and yourself completely white. Okay, so I'm just going to bring down the, oops, the low, I mean the high threshold, bring up the low threshold a little bit. And as you can see, if I bring it up too much, it starts to chroma key me away, and you don't want that. So, um... Let's set it where, like, it doesn't start to all right, eat away at me. Okay, and you can play with the blur to soften up the edges a little bit. Bring it up a little more. Alright, and you can go to the colors. Play around with that. See if that makes it any better. In our case, it did. Uh, sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't work, it just means you didn't do either a good enough. Actually, it always means you didn't do a good enough job at lighting. What you're going to want to do is um, light up the green screen a lot and then step away from it. Here, let's bring that up a little more. Take away some of the green. Okay, see, okay, that's fine. Alright, and as you can see, um, I'm pretty well keyed out. Um, good blur. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is go to video effects and select color curves. And just drag that on the clip. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to bring it all the way down. Just grab these and bring it all the way down. As you can see, uh, it's going to make you completely black on the screen on your preview screen I uh, don't worry that's supposed to happen okay and 
I'm just going to drag in like orange because that's an iPod ad kind of color. And as you can see, there I am um, as a silhouette character. Here, right? See, there's a couple of things with the green screen. You can, there's a couple of shadows. So I'm just going to see what I can do about that. See, a good thing to do would probably be to like watch your clip to see if any of that is actually happening. Like, if you have any black spots, see there. Alright, I'm gonna watch it. It's only like two seconds, but see, see when I move, there's like no smearing. Like, it doesn't smear. Usually, when you dance fast, well, sometimes, unless you did a really good chroma key job, um, it goes, like, it smears, your arm smears, like, black comes off of it. And another thing real fast, I know sometimes that the silhouette characters are white, instead of, um, like, black in their color. So, um, if you want your, like, if you want your guy to be white in one frame, and, like, black in another one, you can, uh, just... Turn on the show mask only, and it'll make you all white. But if you have the blur on, it'll make like a black, uh, completely black, like a black outline. Sorry, but to take that down, you're gonna have to bring the blur all the way down. And see, that's kind of it. Kind of makes it a little rough on the edges. But you can do whatever you want. If you want it to be white on the edges, you can do that. That's fine. I mean, if you want it to be, like, the silhouette character to be white. Alright. So, um, yeah, you just add some music to that. And at the end, you can put, like, a thing that says iTunes or iPod. I We put iPod plus iTunes just because I saw that in a real iPod commercial. Um, and then you just... You don't really have to put anything at the end, but... Oh, uh, you can put, like, the Apple sign at the end, because that's what they always do. Yeah, and you can, and you can change from different people and, like, different frames and different colors and different colors of the people. Okay, well, um, thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, I hope it helped. And check out some of our other videos. Uh, thanks for watching.